video because we have a little bit left and then we're going to be moving on to another field today. It's a good day. We're starting a little bit late. It's about 10, 15 and that's a little later than we would usually start. It's a really nice day out and it's not very windy so that's really good. I'll show you a bit of what the header looks like picking up the wheat right now. And then here are the other two combines since we just started. They're not very far ahead. My header on this combine is 14 feet. And the headers on, because this is the pickup header, it picks up the wheat from the swath. The headers on the other two combines are 16 feet. And then our big header where we straight cut with, mine is 30 feet. And the other two, one is 40 feet and one is 45. They're very similar combines. So I just wanted to let you know how big of our headers are and with the big headers you basically when you go on the highway you have to kind of weave through the traffic like the different signs and stuff like that to move from field to field. It's going to be a great day. We have our disc and our water truck still here and we have our semis ready to get filled which we haven't even had our first grain cart dump yet today because we just got started. I mean, I'm maybe halfway through my first row now. I'm going about two miles an hour, which is pretty fast. So I'm just speeding right along. I might have to back it off a little bit. My wheel is doing really well today. It was frustrating yesterday, but then I got it perfect. Let's see, there's another combine here. This is my dad in this combine over there. Here's my dad in that combine right there. And then we have the hired man in that combine. And here I am. First row of the day. We always wave at each other in the combine because I think it just makes everyone smile and brightens everybody's day. Or at least it brightens my day. Right now, I'm just finishing up my first row of wheat for the day. We don't have actually that much left of this field, so we'll be speeding through it pretty quickly. I lost a little bit of wheat there, but not much. Then you just kind of spin around a little bit quickly. And actually, my next row, I could have missed it. If I wasn't actually, no, I wouldn't have missed it because those rows are going the wrong direction. It's right over here. You kind of line up and then you slow down a little bit. You want to make sure your header doesn't bounce too much because it's not very good for it. So you just slow down if it starts to bounce a little bit. And then you start feeding the wheat in. It goes in really nicely. Actually, this goes in very nicely, but when we get to the big headers and cut barley, it goes in like butter. It's absolutely incredible. So that's gonna be really exciting to watch on video. But this is a good thing to start with because it gets you back in the groove of harvest. And our barley's not ready to cut yet. We have Dan, right, not too far in front of me. And then my dad's kind of way out there. Dad, the hired men, and I were just talking this morning about how big these pieces of machinery are and how kind of cool it is that we get to run them and excited. Oh, and this morning there was a grasshopper on my leg and when I was in the pickup truck and then it started running around and then I was like, oh my goodness, there's a grasshopper on my leg and my dad's trying to swat it and oh, it was crazy. Everyone's in the pickups like, what's going on? <laughs> like I said last video, there's never a dull moment. Something crazy is always going on. There's a lot of grasshoppers in the field always. It's just kind of crazy. I wanted to make a video on combine etiquette because it is a key component in keeping an operation going. Combine etiquette includes radio conversations, it also includes what to wear on a combine, as well as manners because they are so important in having respect for people and keeping the operation going. Now the biggest thing is just having respect because if everyone has respect for each other, everything goes smoothly. And for example, if you radio conversation back and forth and 
someone else was helpful, then you say thank you because it's always nice to hear a thank you on the radio. It makes me smile and I know it makes the other combine people feel better and there's a lot of downtime in the combine, a long, long hours each day. So you have to have those little moments where you just smile and think how absolutely good our crew is. So that is very important. Just checking my grain tank, I didn't know how full it is. It's also very important if someone is coming up fast or behind you in a combine row to finish your row, pull out and let them pass because you don't ever want to hold them up and you want to be as easy going as possible and then you let them know what you're doing so that they don't get confused because that's very important and that's part of combine etiquette and then if you are the combine that another combine lets you pass and take the next row then you say thank you on the radio and that's very important as well now as far as combine attire goes although i would like to wear a dress on a combine it's not necessarily the most appropriate thing to wear because uh, when you're running a combine, you have to walk through the field and the wheat straw and especially barley. Barley is the worst. It totally makes you super itchy and your legs will have like a kind of, not a rash, but sort of like that. And it'll become really irritated. Although you can wear a nice top and pearl earrings, that would be completely appropriate. And that's what I do because although I love fashion, I make sure I'm dressed to be in the field so I don't have itchy legs which would be very bad. And this is all part of combine etiquette. And then also, as far as the grain cart goes, you always want to radio and let everyone know. Don't radio too much because you don't, it's very important that if there's a field fire, if something really important is going on, that people can radio and get in touch with the right person for that matter. But you do want to radio and keep everyone in touch just in case because you would never want to guess in this big equipment. You always want to know exactly what everyone is doing. So it's very important to do that. And also to, what just happened? Oh, okay, I understand. That was weird. There's a little going across row and it's really small now because we're kind of in the middle of the field. So once you get to the middle of the field, if you go around and around for the swapping, it gets a little confusing because the rows get smaller and smaller and smaller, and especially the ones, the side ones, they get smaller and smaller. So you just have to look what way the wheat's going and pick it up if you can. My window's maybe a little over halfway full. You can see it though. So combine etiquette is an integral part in a combine operation. And although it can be overlooked by some people, I find it to be very important. And as long as everyone's nice and has respect for each other and you keep everyone in the loop and say thank you often and show gratitude and that you're very grateful for everything, everything works out and way better. And also at lunch, another part of combine etiquette, although it's not on the combine, it still fits in because combine etiquette is not on the combine, it's on and off the combine. And that makes you a good combine driver, in my opinion, because if you don't have good combine etiquette off the combine, you can't have it on. So for example, that would be at lunch, after you're done eating or dinner, you put the chairs away and help hold the table and you say thank you for your meal because it was a good meal and they worked very hard to have that meal out to you in the field. And I'm sure it's very delicious because I'm always super hungry when lunch and dinner comes out. And that's why I make sure to thank everyone very graciously because it's so important and it's so fantastic to have every member of the crew here and doing what they need to be doing to get this harvest in and completed. And I'm very thankful for everyone here and I think that's an integral part and very important when combining or really any member of the team, but combiners specifically. And you wanna help out whenever is possible. And that's kind of just combine etiquette wrapped up in a small little video because it's very important. and. It, and it keeps the operation going really if the combine etiquette is not executed correctly not very many people are happy and sometimes people can be quite grumpy during harvest i don't know why but they can be and when you say thank you and just add extra things like that to the day it just puts a smile on their face and makes it a little bit better and that's what we want to do as combine drivers and as combine drivers with good combine etiquette Austin, are you on your way to come visit? Yeah, I'm like right behind you. See? Here's a perfect...
perfect example. Everyone's keeping each other in the loop. If you don't know and you're questioning something, just radio it because the other person might not know what you're thinking. And the dress and the attire for combine, it's very important because I think everybody would want to wear a dress on a combine, or at least I would. And it's important not to, but you can still look fabulous in other ways and be a complete fashionista on a combine. So that's very important to me. Let's just take a look here at the other combine people in the green part. You're over there. Here's an example. Here's where I am. It's really, really, it's just beautiful every day and it makes me happy to combine because of how beautiful the skies are and I get to be in nature. But the nice thing is in an enclosed cab so I don't have any of the dust and that makes it a lot better. This is how close we are and this is because the field, we're getting to the middle of it so we're all very, very close even if we're kind of sort of far away, if that makes sense. And the hired man dumping and then we have my dad there in front and my green tape full light just came off so I'm going to have to radio. I'm just getting ready to do a dump on the go so I thought I'd just film. I'm just trying to finish this one row and then I'll meet him on the other side. Maybe not. We'll just stop for this because I'm basically at the end of my row. Here's that wheat I was talking about. 